Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make my very own chickpea and potato curry. It's truly yummy. It can be eaten with rice or naan bread or chapatis for that matter. So let's go through the ingredients quickly and let's start cooking. So the ingredients you'll need are four tablespoons of oil, two onions which I've sliced, a can of chopped in tomatoes, four uh, potatoes which have peeled and diced, two cans of chickpeas which I've drained, one and a half cubes each of ginger and garlic frozen cubes, a teaspoon of turmeric powder, a tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of chilli powder, a tablespoon of garam masala, a tablespoon of coriander powder and a tablespoon of dried fenugreek leaves. So let's start cooking. Guys, I forgot to mention we also need some water. So boil a kettle and leave that to the side to use as and when we need when we're cooking the curry and also at the end when we're making it slightly runny because we don't want the curry to be dry. Okay, the pan's nice and hot now. So, let's get in with the oil. And then, stir it in with the onion. And you just want them to be golden brown and soft. So that'll take about roughly eight to ten minutes to cook down. And I'll come back and show you what they look like once they're done. So guys, I've just realised I forgot to hit the record button without realising, but all I did was just add my ginger and garlic paste into this and my uh, tin of tomatoes and then I realised, let me just check to see whether the camera's recording and it wasn't. <laughs> but anyway, um, I've not really done much to it so I've just added um, all that in and I'm just going to add some water into this now as well and just let that cook down. So I'm going to pop this back onto the heat again, full whack, and put the lid back on again and just let everything kind of like wilt down and the water dry up as well. Uh, we will come back to it in a bit just to check and see how it's getting on. So just coming back to check on this, it's been bubbling away. We're just turning the hob up again to full power and I'm just going to add the dry ingredients, the turmeric, the salt, the chilli powder, the masala, coriander powder, just give that a mix. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to drain the potatoes and then just add them in. I've washed them. And then lower the heat on this and put the lid on and let that simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes until the potatoes are soft and tender and once that's done I'll come back and show you how it looks like okay guys it's been about 10 minutes we're checking up on these potatoes
they still look raw. I've just turned the heat up and I'm just going to let them simmer away for another 10 minutes. Now it all depends on the type of potato that you're using and what heat, um, the amount of heat that you use. Um, so when I say 10 to 15 minutes, you know, always, you know, add an extra five, 10 minutes onto that because you just never know with some potatoes. And also it depends on the size that you've cut them. Um, I did do sort of like one, one inch cubes, but you've got to understand that potatoes are all different shapes and sizes. So, um, you know, you, you can try your best to do, to cut them uh, all the same sort of like size but some will just cook more quicker than others. So you've got to make sure the bigger chunks cook properly. So we're just going to leave them to cook for another 10 minutes and um, I'll come back and check them and see how they're getting along. Okay guys, just coming back to check this now. So it's been another 10 minutes that we've left it to cook away. And that's looking really good. The water's dried up and the oil started to separate as well and come to the surface. So what I want to do is leave the lid off and just cook it further for about five minutes and just ruin it until the onions have like completely sort of like broken down along with the tomatoes and giving it a really nice thick masala and the last thing we're going to add is the chickpeas which are already pre-boiled um, and you just got them out of the can so now I'm going to add in the canned chickpeas just stir that through So I've just moved the camera a little closer so you can see. So that's looking really nice. So you can see this a little bit better now. I'm just going to grab a knife and just check to see if the cup, that's perfect. Knife's gone straight through. I mean, go for a really chunky piece of potato. That's cooked perfect. And now, we're going to finish off by just adding some water to this. So that's just roughly a cup's worth of water and turn the heat up full. So I'll bring that to the boil and then just let that simmer for about five minutes until it sort of like thickens up but not dries out completely. So you have a really nice sauce to go with your rice. And at this stage, you can add the dry fenugreek leaves. So straight into the palm of your hand and just rub them together like that to release all the aroma. And then just give that a stir. lid back on for five minutes and we'll come back to it and see how it's getting on. So we've just coming back to this now and that's been cooking away for about five minutes on full heat. Just give that a stir and that is the right consistency that I'm looking for. So I'm now going to turn off the heat. Any potatoes that were not cooked should be cooked by now. And that looks perfect. So the curry's finished now and 
I'm just going to plate this up and tell you exactly how it looks. So guys, the finished dish here. I'm going to try it out and tell you exactly how it is. Oh, that is so good. Mmm. Damn, that's a really good dish. Everything's perfect. It's not too spicy. The salt's perfect. Tastes really nice. Potatoes are fully cooked. Oh, the chickpeas. Yum. Such a simple dish with a few ingredients and honestly it makes the best curry sometimes ever. I'm going to leave you with this. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video and if you've not already subscribed to my channel guys do head on over there and hit the subscribe button. I'll be back again with another video very soon. Till then take care and happy eating.